Hello everyone, Amud here from a Target Common YouTube channel and this video will be continuation of Rest Assured end to end framework release video series. In the last video, I will explain the basic concept of Poigy library and in this video, I am going to explain how can we use this library in our test case. So I am going to use the Poigy library on my actual POJO which is airline and this POJO class has some default values also for the field. So we are not going to change anything on this and we will have all the annotations as it is. So let me map all those values with the Excel sheet. So for that we have annotation which I have already explained in my previous video. So let me copy all those mapping to my actual POJO. But there is one problem. If you have watched my previous videos where I have explained the basic concept of Poiji library and in my Excel sheet for the field ID we have some pattern like this says that generate one random number of digit 6. Similarly, it will be used as it is but here it will generate a random number with the default size and here it will generate for 5 and here 4. But when I use the Poiji library, so for this one, this row, it was properly set, but for other four, it was giving zero, which you don't want. So we need to have some custom logic so that we can have the randomly generated values. So for that, what we can do, instead of mapping the actual property value with the Excel sheet, I will introduce a new variable. I can name it as like private string id value. You can give any name and this property will be mapped to my excel sheet. And I want that this property should not be part of my JSON for create airline API. I just want to ignore them. So I can use the annotation called add JSON ignore. Now let me show you how we to use this property to set the value for id. So let me create a new data provider with the PoEG library. So I'll duplicate this data provider and I will rename it as like airline data PoEG and here also I will add the PoEG. I don't need to write these many lines of code. All I need to do use the PoEG dot from Excel here and to pass the path. So let me copy the path as of now from here but you can use you can have some utility or you can have some wrapper around this poji so like here you can see i just need to pass the excel sheet name similarly you can have some wrapper but as of now let me use the hard coded path from here let me copy and paste i don't have any option to i will simply remove it and instead of airline poji it will return a list of airline and let me change it everywhere okay and let me duplicate the test method as well and I will name it as like PoEG and let me change the data provider. You can see that only two lines of code are required to read the data from Excel sheet. So here it will give the airline POJO request one by one. So here also you can have a logic means we can have like airline dot get ID value because we introduce a new field and let me store into a variable maybe sale value so here what i want i want to read the value of sale value and based on that i need to generate the data so i have already explained how can we generate the random data so similarly we have written some code in my excel utils so let me copy this code and use it there but it is always a good practice to create the utility for this so that you can call it wherever you want so but for this video i will simply copy this code and I will paste it here. So it will give me the sale value based on whatever we are passing from Excel sheet. So now we can set the value. You can use the airline dot set ID and you can pass the sale value. So we used an extra field to determine the value of ID. So let me comment all those test cases because I don't want to run all the test cases here. So in the Excel sheet, I've already deleted my extra fields, whatever we added in the last video. And also for the headquarters, I'm passing the single value. So let me close the Excel sheet and run the program. So here it is given the exception and it says that null point exception setup.java. So let me see what mistake I've done because it is a null pointer. So a test has been not been created. Okay, so you can see here whatever data provider I have created, so I have given the name, right? 
but here in the test case i use the different name that's why it is giving the error let me run the program again so this time you can see test case is build is successful and let me open the report to see the results so for the first row you can see that it is generating a an integer value similarly for second one we are using some hard coded so it is using the same as it is and for all others we have the random values so this library is really helpful when we have multiple set of data so that's all in this video if you have any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone